Industrial vacuum pumps are designed to pump gases and liquids out of sealed containers to create a vacuum. From household electronics to aircraft equipment, vacuums are needed in countless applications. Since there's no such thing as a one-size-fits-all pump, keep watching to learn how to find the right tool for the job. Rotary Vane Pumps Rotary vane pumps are positive displacement pumps that work through the use of rotating vanes in a cylindrical case. As these vanes slide in and out around the eccentrically mounted rotor, the pump traps air and moves it from the inlet port to the outlet port, generating vacuum. They're quick, quiet, and best of all, inexpensive, making them perfect for medical, environmental, or commercial usage. However, they're not as powerful as something like a piston pump. Rocking Piston Pump Rocking piston pumps are positive displacement pumps that use a rigidly mounted piston and an eccentric connecting rod. A single pump produces a vacuum to 27.5 inches of mercury, while a two-stage design can generate up to 29 inches of mercury. As powerful as they are, they're surprisingly quiet, often operating around the 50 dB range. With that said, you'll sacrifice some power here. Rocking piston pumps can't generate much airflow. Even the largest models have flow rates under 10 CFM. Reciprocating Piston Pump Reciprocating piston pumps have one or more pistons attached to a rotating crankshaft. These positive displacement pumps generate relatively high vacuums, from 27 to more than 29 inches of mercury. Reciprocating pumps tend to have some of the longest lifespans in the industry, so you'll get your money's worth. The primary disadvantages of the reciprocating piston pump system are that they're heavier and more expensive than many other systems. They also have limited capacity and typically operate at higher noise levels than other systems. Diaphragm Pump Diaphragm pumps provide moderate vacuums, with single-stage versions reaching up to 25.5 inches of mercury and two-stage unit reaching 29 inches of mercury. Diaphragm pumps have a low compression ratio with low flow, so they operate very quietly. They're also exceptionally reliable and cost-efficient, yet they produce somewhat lower vacuums compared to other positive displacement vacuum pumps. Because they're so quiet, hospitals often use diaphragm pumps as blood pressure monitors, while environmental services use them for water sampling. Dry Claw Pump Dry claw vacuum pumps have long lifespans due to their low wear designs. They also do not use lubrication, which eliminates contamination of processed substances. However, they're not great for smaller applications, so you'll typically only find them in industrial settings. Liquid Ring Pump Liquid ring pumps work using an eccentrically mounted impeller with multiple blades. The expansion of the airspace during this rotation creates a vacuum, which is used to compress and discharge air at rapid speeds. Liquid ring pumps are effective at absorbing the heat generated during the compression process. That said, unless you're purifying air, it might not be the right tool for the job. Rotary Screw Pump Rotary screw vacuum pumps are positive displacement pumps. In this design, two helically shaped rotors turn in opposite directions, trapping air and moving it through the chamber to create a vacuum. Though this design allows for high airflow, it achieves relatively low vacuums limited to about 15 inches of mercury. As you'd expect, this means they're not as powerful as other pumps on this list. Still, they're great for pumping gases. With so many industrial vacuum pump sizes and types available, it's important to know your options. Different technologies can be used to generate a reliable flow of vacuum, but no single technology achieves optimal efficiency at every level of vacuum. Contact RG Group today to learn more about our fluid handling and motion control solutions, as well as our quality industrial parts and services. And if you enjoy this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more.